What's happening, fellas? We're in the Great Smoky Mountains here at the Wheel Through Time Museum. They'll be opening April 1st for business for the season. So I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of the facility. We will have some in-depth interviews and some more in-depth um, video and coverage of the museum. But I just want to give you a quick walkthrough. This is the entryway in the main sales showroom right here. This is where you buy your tickets right up at the front right here with these guys. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> And uh, you got a lot of swag in the gift shop over here if you want to buy coffee cups or, or pictures and signs and t-shirts and magazines, all kinds of stuff. Everything you want is right there. This is where the real magic happens out in the main museum floor. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough. This is the uh, four-cylinder display right here. Some of the most significant American-made motorcycles uh, in, the, in the world are in here on this four-cylinder display. And then they've got... Uh, one of the a board track racer right there and a really nice sitting area if you get tired you can come sit down right here um, then you walk into the connecting main museum building on this side they've got all their military motorcycles some really amazing significant motorcycles in here that uh, we'll cover in more depth in the next video again this is just an overview video this is the chopper area chopper bobber area and uh there's some really cool bikes in here as you can see uh to your left here this is a recreation of a motorcycle shop just everywhere you look there's awesome stuff and literally it would take you days to go through here and read every single plaque on every motorcycle and to study the history and uh we'll do a quick walk through here these are the model 45s probably davison model 45s on the left here this is a massive building. It's 36,000 square foot. This is this is their board, I mean the hill climber section over here. And off to your side, there's some more Harley Davidson 45s. And here, this is a like a recreation of a garage scene, like an American Pickers style garage scene here. This is what you would see when you go into someone's old barn to buy motorcycles. There's some really significant hill climbers over here, factory racers. There are more number one production bikes and more factory genuine factory racers in this building than any other building in the world right here in maggie valley north carolina here's some significant panheads that's the one dale used to bring matt for rides out when he was a kid this is a shop that they actually purchased and relocated here we'll cover this in depth this is an exact reproduction of one of their friend's shops that they purchased and moved here on this back wall here this entire back section is the board track racer section there's some amazing machines, over 38 manufacturers like Thor and Indian and Harley Davidson and you name it, they're all here, A to Z. All the American made, mo all the motorcycles in here are all um, American made motorcycles. There's some board track racers and uh, they call them, they call it the murder drone and uh, murder cycles, they nicknamed them. One of the best, if not the best, board track racer display in the world, including this factory Harley Davidson right here. You can't walk five feet without seeing a bike that uh, is a significant part of, of history. This is the first custom bikes ever made in the teens and 20s. They were making replicas of the board track racers. So the first era of motorcycle customizing. Here's some, some more bikes that just came in. Um, you've got a, a pan head off-road side hack, right? When, when's the last time you've seen one of those? Probably never. Inside here in this building, there's all kinds of significant vintage motorcycles in here just absolutely freaking spectacular you really need need to come to the wheels through time museum and check this place out we're only uh i think we're about an hour away from the uh tail of the dragon and deals gap this is a plane that was made by a 17 year old kid believe it or not you want a contest doing that so over here, we've got a Harley Davidson. Look at this, 150 horsepower Nitro Harley Davidson. Professor's HD. More hill climbing stuff on the set middle section here. Tons of, of hill climbing history. Everything to the right here is all motorcycle engines turned into, in the, in the back you have it, the first snowmobile. That idea was sold to Polaris. The first jet ski. You've got a, a Davis motor mine, Harley Davidson 3D motor turned into a mining machine. You've got farming implements, you've got um, snow blowers, you've got 
saws, all kinds of machines, rototillers created out of Harley Davidson and Indian and other manufacturers from the early ages. Uh, just incredible, incredible display here. More, more motor drome stuff. Um, here's another re reproduction of a shop right in here. There's the middle section there. Um, I'll have hours of video covering all this to share with you. This is a, a, a the 19, early 19, the teens, they call this room here. This is all motorcycle parts and accessories and things you'd find from the early teens into the 20s. This is a, a just an incredible collection of, of unobtainium parts, true unobtainium. A lot of that stuff hasn't been made for over 100 years. A bunch of Yale, California displays, Indian. Absolutely remarkable. I'm like a kid in a candy shop here. Everywhere you look, just absolutely stunning collection of motorcycles. There's a beautiful sidecar rig that's actually driven from the sidecar seat. Maybe one of the first handicapped motorcyclists. Motorcycles, you wouldn't need your legs to, to drive that. Um, some amazing supercharged cars like this 1932 Clobe Special. Uh, three of a kind right here. These were made by Dale and Matt for them to use. Uh, here's a really cool vintage car. In this room, you've got lots of cars, lots of motorcycles. And we're back, as we come into this room here, we're back into the main room that this is what's in a barn. They had a reality show for two seasons that they, that they filmed here. Uh, it was on one of the Discovery subsidiaries. So we just walked in on the other side of, that, um, of this display right here. If you can take a peek over here. You can see that's that's a showroom. That door right there leads to the sales showroom and entryway. That's the four-cylinder display. We're on the other side of it. I just wanted to give you guys an overview of the flow of the building because I hadn't seen any videos that really covered that well. So um, this room here has uh, row after row of really significant rare motorcycles like this Crocker. It's just beautiful. And you've got a couple Harley-Davidson toppers. And the two-stroke Harleys, a whole row of Tater Twins. Just unbelievable. I'm not sure what this car is here, but it looks pretty, pretty, uh, pretty significant and rare. Just unbelievable, man. There's uh, all kinds of artwork and memorabilia everywhere. You could spend days in here just pouring through the books and magazines and uh, signage that's on the walls and stuff like this kidney. There's memorabilia everywhere, everywhere you look. So a bunch of history on the cannonball run in here, actual cannonball participant bikes, some that they built here in, in one, one, won the race. So this is, uh, I'm not going to call this the main museum room, but this is the main room that you walk into. And th this is the two level part of the, of the museum. That's the 1936 Indian traffic car, um, a row of NOS brand new Harley Davidson's that never even started from, from the eighties. Most of the bikes are, are vintage, uh, uh, vintage from the teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. But on the second floor, they've got what they call their modern motorcycles. So we'll take a walk up there. There's a 1911 Carter car. Memorabilia everywhere. Cases and cases and cases. Uh, this is a 50-year collection that Dale had. Uh, he still has the first motorcycle he ever bought. So he bought these to keep. He didn't buy these to sell in... Unfortunately, Lee, as you probably already know, uh, Dale, the founder, had passed away about a month ago, and his, his son, Matt, uh, took over operations, and uh, he's been here running it while his dad was sick for the last few years, So, uh, but he's now uh, fully responsible for the world's largest, most complete, most amazing American motorcycle collection ever to, to grace this planet. It's, it's right here in Maggie Valley, California, just amazing collection of motorcycles look at the paint job on this one that's my style right there i love that <laughs> that's awesome red white and blue just incredible so we are up on the second floor now as you can see there's motorcycle parts and memorabilia and everywhere you look bikes under bikes under construction there's an original sportster over there racing sportster just just incredible up here on the second floor. The next video, we'll do an in-depth tour with Matt, and he will go over some of the details of the 
the history of these bikes, how, how uh, uh, the history, what was going on in the world at that time, whether it was the, before the Depression, after the Depression, the ro roaring teens, uh, 20s, and uh, World War I bikes and how that affected. Here's a Harley Davidson drag racing um, machine right here. I actually have uh, the trailer that Harley towed this to the races in the 44 foot trailer. That's a trailer that we have. Just awesome. B Rod drag racer. Here's a Tilly Harley Davidson Buell. Just awesome. XR 750 flat tracker. I, that's one of my all time favorite Harleys right there. They got, they got an XLCR cafe racer downstairs that I might have walked by. Check this out. Another XLCR cafe racer. That's two. Here's an X, original XR750 Harley Davidson. That thing's just absolutely incredible. Here's another one right here. Wow. Just awesome. Like I said, I'm an absolute kid in a candy shop here. Here's an XR1200. We have one of these at the New England Motorcycle Museum. Um, another XR1200. Ironheads. If you follow our channel, you know I'm an Ironhead freak. I love Ironheads and Sportsters. Here's some late model Sportsters. I want to put a turbocharger on a, on a late model Sportster now that we're a Trask dealer. Really looking forward to that. Maybe we can figure out how to put a turbocharger on a Buell. I don't know. Look at the paint job on this Sportster right here. This Iron Head. That looks like original paint to, to me, too. I think it is. Just absolutely beautiful. This is about their collection of Sportsters. Um, just unbelievable. I think this is, a, is an original unrestored one. Fantastic, 1,800 miles on it. There's an XLCR Cafe Racer. Some drag racing Harley Davidsons, three of them in a row. Fantastic, another drag racing Harley. Buells, which is, you know, the history of Buell. They're back in business. One of the original Sportsters. It's a Panster. Huh, look at that. Panster. Panhead style valve covers on a, and, and panhead heads on a Sportster. Here's a beautiful, look at this thing. Wow. Red, white, and blue. All Americana. So, again, I'm supposed to be focusing on the facility for you guys. This is the second floor mezzanine with some nice seating areas. If you're old and you're in the 55 plus class and you get tired, sit down, grab a book, grab a cup of coffee, watch a video, watch one of the what's in the barn episodes some really cool significant bicycles over here hey they, they even got captain Ke captain kangaroo in here so and lock your bike people have been stealing bikes forever I hate bike thieves back here in their storage room they got tons of t-shirts so you can order online they can ship next day go on to their website wheels through time it's a 2003 indian Donated by Kenneth Porter of Knoxville, Tennessee. That's when they uh, started reproducing Indians for a short time. Late model. Electric Glide. 95th anniversary. Tour Glide. Nice shovel. 81. Heritage Edition. These are what they call their late model. They're mostly in the, the, into the finished stuff, but these are becoming more vintage as time goes on. 72 Harley-Davidson Night Train. Look at the paint job on that. Original paint artwork unobtainium artwork everywhere all over the walls this stuff's pretty much priceless where are you going to find this kind of stuff just an incredible collection unbelievable here we're overlooking the first floor of the museum hopefully this gives you a, 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 a little overview of the main museum Lobby here, they even have an elevator here if you're handicapped. Check it out, elevator. And I thought the Barbary Museum was the only museum that had an elevator. As grandiose as the Barbary Museum is, and I love it, this museum has got character and personality that can only be collected through 100 years of collecting. And when I said Dale had 50 years into doing this, 
Yeah, what was the guy? If you knew him, if you're part of the team, you know he worked 80 hour weeks all the time. So in his 50 years, he really worked 100 years. So this is not something that uh, was was put together in, in a couple years. This is a lifetime labor of love. And his son Matt has been here with him for, for 30 years working on this. And uh, their team they have is the best in the industry. So if you want a one of a kind experience, come check out Wheel Street Time. Pretty cool elevator. So there's two ways up. There's that side right there. And you go through the first four cylinder all the way through the first room back into this room and then up to the second floor mezzanine. 40, think, uh, was it 38,000 square foot, I believe? Just incredible. Hopefully you enjoyed the quick tour. Um, plan on having plenty of time when you come here to check this place out a full day and bring your sneakers. They have a lifetime uh, donorship, which includes the discovery print individually numbered and signed by artist David Ewell, custom engraved gas tank, uh, which goes on the wall here with your name, a donorship patch and lapel pin, a lifetime membership card, and 10% off the gift shop purchases for you and your friends. So we, we signed up for that today, uh, New England Motorcycle Museum. And uh, hopefully you'll do the same and get your plaque on the wall here. Wheels Through Time, Maggie Valley, North Carolina. Check out their YouTube channel and their Facebook page. Subscribe. This is a plaque, uh, the um, limited number print. Uh, they made a thousand of these that you'll get if you do the lifetime membership. That's the museum exit and entrance is on the other side there. They have 50 acres here and Dale's house, he lived right behind the building here up on the hill. And Matt lived in, in that little cottage right there uh, at the entryway for seven years until he got married and had kids and there was nowhere to put the two kids in a little cottage so they moved to a house. But what an awesome setup, huh? Live right here at the facility just like Junior does at the uh, New England Motorcycle Museum. I well, hope you enjoyed the quick tour of the Wheels Through Time Museum. Stay tuned for the more in-depth one, the guided tour with Matt. And as always, God bless the United States of America.